Popeye's Diet Coke. Looking strong right now, owner Al Copeland, who drove to five offshore championships, is anxiously looking on as Chuck Norris is behind the wheel right now. Al Copeland, amazing story as a businessman, as a competitor. And Bob, you visited earlier with him. It's frequently said that the man who ends up with the most toys wins, and the man who's sitting right here, Al Copeland, certainly is a candidate for that title. He's also won five national championships. Al, uh, without being a modest, kind of go through some of these toys you have. I mean, they're staggering. Oh. Well, it's, it's a lot of fun to have them, I'll guarantee you. But, uh, well, let's see, we have the Popeye's jet. We have uh, the Popeye's helicopter we call the chicken chopper. Uh, we have the team bus. Uh, and we have uh, Cajun Princess, which is a 100-foot yacht that we take to all the races. We have two limousines. We have uh, three active offshore power boats that we can take and take a choice of which power boat we want to have. Uh, we have uh, several Popeye motor scooters that we run around in and uh, motorcycles. And we have, uh, of course, all the equipment, the trucks. Uh, we have several wave runners. We have a lot of stuff, but, it, you know, everybody enjoys and everybody has a lot of fun. When I was a kid, I, I lived in the projects, and um, I started with um, one store. Uh, I started working, uh, my life working as a soda jerk and um, for a supermarket chain, and then um, I went to work in a donut shop. About uh, 17 years ago, I started uh, my fried chicken chain, Popeye's Fried Chicken, with uh, one store and an idea that I, that I thought I could feed better food to, to the public. And today we've grown and grown and grown, and over those 17 years, we've now become the number two uh, largest fried chicken operation in the world. And I never want to be cocky to that. I, I've started from humble beginnings. Uh, I, I want to be rich, but I want to be humble, you know? And I think that's important. I have a lot of things, but I don't mind talking about them, but with the idea in mind that it is because I work for them and I've achieved it and started from nothing and made it. And if, with that in mind, you know, I know people, people don't envy that. They just want to do it themselves. Very nice man, but his insurance company won't let him race right now because he has such great financial obligations. He isn't far away, though. He's absolutely almost on top of that boat in his helicopter. It's a battle for third place. Don Johnson, Team USA, third place. Chuck Norris in Popeyes is in fourth. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, baby! Bob, you can tell the adrenaline is really flowing with the Don Johnson team right here. But Popeyes has passed them on the inside. Right now, this is very taxing on the machinery. An $8 oil filter. They did not secure it one race, and Don Johnson fell back out of contention. But they don't have that problem right now. Chuck Norris inside the cockpit, bouncing up and down now. In excess, meanwhile, is the leader in the superboat class. They're dropping back a little bit. They're being conservative while that great battle is going on for third and fourth. But they look so steady as that V-boat just cuts through the waves. Averaging 102.08 miles an hour in excess. The race for third place, though, continues the north end of the course. Popeye on the outside with a slight lead over Team USA. Come on, baby. Come on, cut it up, Don. Atta boy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We got a race going on here. All right. The excited voices of Don Johnson, throttle man Richie Powers, and navigator Kurt Russell. Because they did pick up some room on that turn now and on the straightaway. Heading down the shore side, there's Popeyes on the far side, Team USA on the near side, Don Johnson very excited, he was a world champion in 88, but this is the first race of the season, he has been this competitive. Boy, they're going by some of the boats in the pro class, some of the lesser boats, some of the slower boats I should say, look at them just flying by. Johnson picking up some room now on Popeyes, he wants that third place. Look at Popeyes. Oh, the machinery cannot hold together at this pace. Boy, this is, what, what would you say? This is neck to neck, isn't it? Oh, this is great offshore racing, and what a shot of it. Look at that pounding they're taking. Looks like Popeyes is lengthening just a little bit of its lead. Chuck Norris and Popeyes, Don Johnson, Kurt Russell, and Team USA. Look like the uh, throttle men are just playing with each other the way they spurt back and forth. Team USA now taking an edge on Popeyes. Boy, what a spurt by Team USA. Richie Powers, the throttle man, really putting it to this boat. 
Now they're in third place. A slower boat off to the right there as you see him blow by him. In excess, still holding the lead, Bob. Just cutting through the water. John Garrett really has his boat under control. He just wants to hold things together. Don Johnson coming up now on second place, Superhero. Superhero is not performing as well as they did earlier in the race. Look at the crowds out near the beach. They're coming awfully close. At those kind of speeds, look out. Anything can happen. Team USA, those looking as strong as they have all season long. And cutting inside on the turn, Team USA. Boy, what a maneuver. Great move. Great move against the V-bottom. That wasn't my most favorite turn ever, but it worked. <laughs> it sure did work. They moved into second place. Right there, a nice gamble, but good strategy on Don Johnson's part now as Superhero currently third. And flying on the outside, Popeyes. Popeyes wanting to take over that third place position now. And uh, Popeyes is holding steady. Boy, I'll tell you, you can't accuse Chuck Norris and Don Johnson of not being brave drivers. We got. To, we we let, don't know where we finished. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really, we got, seriously, we, we, we got so busy out there. Uh, we, we don't know where the hell we finished. Well, we thought, we thought, well, we, we may have finished second. And then we thought, well, no, I think we finished first. And now, now I don't know where the hell we are. We, where all was I know is we left a lot of orange paint off our helmets on that, on that canopy. <laughs> we saw in excess. We saw us go by him. We did not see us go by him. You didn't see him go by us. I, but I, I, we, I thought that it was a lap down. Well, guys, uh, you seem pretty happy. I mean, it was, uh, I guess you didn't see John go by you. No. We didn't see him. Uh, if he did get past us, we didn't see him. Uh, you know one thing, we didn't see Norris go by us. <laughs> you, didn't, you what? You, 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 you didn't see Chuck. You never saw Chuck. Actually, he did. We had a pretty good race going. Yeah, we had a good race going with him. But uh, I guess you got to be a little more than a kickboxer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Good going, guys. Lots of smiles, but Bob turns around to make his way to the pit with a checkered flag. John, congratulations to you. It was a really, it was a great, great race. Oh, it was a, a fantastic race. I mean, if we had so much hiccuped, <laughs> Three boats would have passed us, and uh, we really ran hard. I don't know what our average speed was, but I was, I'm sure it was close to 90 or above. Ralph, it looked like uh, you kind of settled back a little bit at the beginning and then came on slowly as the race went on. Right. We wanted to see uh, how hard the other boats were going to run, and we just kind of took it easy and tried to stay with them at least. And then toward the end there, we kind of let it rip. Yeah, well, you know, I was talking to uh, Don Johnson and the guys on his boat, Kurt Russell. You know, they think they won. They think they did an extra lap. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> they must think they're still out in Hollywood. <laughs> as we mentioned earlier, there were two smaller boat competitions underway at the very same time as the Super and Open classes. Here are the winners. Pro 1 results, high risk, followed by risky business, gone again, and first offense. In the Pro 2 results, Skater Express, Honk Attack, Great Adventure, and Misbehaven. Well, it was a lot of serious competition here in Miami, and... The racers do charge when they're in those boats, but they have a lot of fun. Brad Ekman and Jim Hendrick, this is Bob Biotti. Goodbye, everybody.